What's up everyone, this is a lot of talk is tech, and real quick, this is a crazy video I had to make, but I'm not in my usual recording space. I do have some of my recording equipment, so I do apologize for the quality of the content, but this is just an insane video I have to show you guys. So you do have to be on beta 3 of iOS 13, and you can see that this is an iPhone SE. You will need a home button device, so this device clearly has a home button. Now this will not work if you have like an iPhone 10. So technically think of it like this, if you have an iPhone 10, you are basically not able to get hacked by this glitch and that's actually a good thing. So if you have a home button, you should actually worry about this. So what this feature does is on the iPhone, your phone stores what passwords and stuff you have for Safari, for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, pretty much every password you type on your phone, your iPhone saves. And there is a way to actually access that. But in order to do that, you need a password on your phone in order to view the passwords of the other passwords on your phone. So you can see that I need a password, right, in order to view the other passwords on my phone. So you can see that these are lists of websites and this is all automatically done. This isn't like manually entered data for your phone. Now for my specific device, I manually entered this, but this will automatically be saved on your personal device because you have saved your password. So you will see that you can access the username, the password, you can see the website name. So you can see for this one, it's the same thing. The password's just password. So. That is pretty cool. But in order to view this information, you need a password. So there's actually a way around this and you do have to be on beta three. So the way this works is you're just gonna wanna do this and click cancel and keep doing this over and over again. Now, if you have a face ID device, this will not work. So you are actually immune to this. So that's a good thing if you have a device with a notch on it. But you can see I continue tapping and nothing's happening. You just keep tapping and eventually, I'm not gonna cut the video, but you will see that eventually, it will just straight up let me in as if I had typed in a password. It's actually crazy. So as soon as you think that, oh, right there. <laughs> I was literally about to say, as soon as you think it's not gonna work, it works. So yeah, there you have it guys. That's pretty crazy. So this will have pretty much every password to everyone's app. So what I recommend you do is if you have your friend's phone, you're clearly a terrible friend if you do this, but you can take a screenshot and send it to yourself and then you are a terrible person for life. But you can take advantage of the situation if you need to, or yeah, uh, do what you want with this information from this video, but that is how you steal someone's password. Um, now, I will have a video, I guess, on how you can protect yourself from this. That will be my next video and it's actually a pretty cool video using Siri. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, Peace.